What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new tactic video and today it is going to be all about Arteta's 4-3-3. This tactic picked up five trophies with Arsenal so we're absolutely cooked and I will say we have got three tactics today. One for a powerhouse, one for a top four and one for an underdog so you're all covered whatever team you want to play with. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and once again if you're not subbed to the Rebuild channel come on over and subscribe because if you like rebuilds it's the best you'll see. We're absolutely cooking over there. I'll see you over there but let's go through and talk about this amazing Arteta tactic. With Arsenal, we really did put on a show. We put on a magnificent display where we come out and won the Premier League, the Champions League 3 2 over Leipzig, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, and the Community Shield. I will say all signings were up to date as well. And the best thing about this, what I am going to say right away, is how good we were in the Premier League. We come out and win this right with 37 wins and one loss against Brighton. And this 4 3 3 was honestly a real joy to use. We bashed Burnley 9-0 towards the end of the season and actually going over some of the stats of the season we were so good the only weakness although it isn't a weakness I would want a little bit more possession in an ideal world but 57% is still quite a substantial amount of the ball when you're scoring loads more than Man City you're having a lot more shots as well if we look at this a lot more shots than Liverpool and Man City out dribbling every single one fewest conceded the most clean sheets you can't have everything in football so i'll let man city have those things and um nottingham forest can take home the most tackles because we're never going to have that because we had a fair bit of the ball but going over to the date hub we can go and understand that it's going to be 3.74 goals per game only 0.5 conceded over 20 shots a game which is absolutely ridiculous an 88 percent pass completion and a fairly decent tackle win ratio now this tactic was the tactic we used actually as the balance tactic so the default tactic you'll see first up in a tactic breakdown but let's go over with rangers which of course is going to be tested with the powerhouse tactic where we scored a little bit more goals this is going to be the results with rangers of course not the best team in the scottish league but definitely a powerhouse in my opinion and as you can see we're going to pick up the europa league against lazio that game did go to extra time the scottish cup and the via play cup and the league did be win it we did win it. 32 wins, two draws, and four losses as well, with a couple of players there scoring 30-plus goals in the season. A real, real stellar performance. And talking of stellar possession, 64%. Incredible stuff there. Most goals, most shots, most points, fewest conceded, and the most dribbles. Absolutely incredible stuff. Once again, it is going to be the pass completion we're missing out on a little bit. We are literally 3% behind. But when you're scoring close to double of what Celtic are scoring, they can have 3% pass completion simple as that to be honest but the data hub we did manage to scrape just point two more goals being scored so technically it did score more goals with less shots which is always quite interesting the same sort of pattern follows with the conceded per game the pass completion etc etc this tactic is perfect to play as a powerhouse team or if you want to switch to go and you know get a few more goals here and there this would be the ideal candidate for that but of course we are going to have an underdog tactic or a defensive tactic for those of you that want to try and seal out a game and we went over and tested with Real Sociedad. What are you thinking, Josh? Where are Real Sociedad predicted? They are predicted sixth. And I will say it's not the best of the best season, but still a real, real strong performance. Champions League football in season one with zero signings. A Spanish Cup win, a 4-1 win as well. So quite a good season in that regard. And if we actually go over and look at the data hub, we are actually scoring easily over double to what we are going to be conceding. Now, the thing with this tactic is you are not going to score as many goals, but you are going to have a lot more possession because there's a lot more short pass focus, a lot more controlling. So this tactic honestly might even be more better suited for you to switch to win a game rather than play an entire season with. But I thought I'd showcase some results with a bit of a weaker team in the league, and that's exactly what we've done. Thought we'd watch a Champions League final against RB Leipzig, of course, a very, very strong team. And we come out and take the lead 1-0 inside of 16 minutes. A great start for this team, it has to be said. But unfortunately, a pender is going to equalise there to make it 1-1, with Zinchenko finding Martinelli, cutting it into Kai Havertz, into Thomas Partey, into Martinelli, elegant tiki-taka play to make it 2-1 in the 66th minute and we actually find a way to go 3-1 up here with Ben White going down the right hand side in the middle into Gabriel Jesus who tucks it away they do get a goal here as a bit of a consolation but obviously we are going to wrap up the game 3-2 it's a good ball over the top but with Champions League winners. But to actually go and make this tactic, all you want to simply do is load in down here a create your own style. It is going to be based off that clean slate and you want to load in a basic 4-3-3 DM wide. Of 
course, it is time to break down this tactic step by step. And again, if you are enjoying, please do leave a like. It helps the video out massively. And also, if you are enjoying the content that much, feel free to subscribe. But let's go over and break down this tactic. I would like to say as well, it is based off a positive mentality, not attacking set to positive. We're going to start things off right away with a sweeper keeper on defend. Now, can we just take five seconds to appreciate how good Raya has been recently? He has been absolutely sublime. What a goalkeeper they have right there. But that, that being said, let's carry on. We're going over to the right back. It is going to be a fullback, funny enough, who is going to be set to run wide. We're going to have him set to tackle harder, stay wide, and also mark tight. So this individual here, he is going to somewhat get forward, as you saw in the highlights with Ben White, for example. Ben White at right back. Um, and it is going to be a player who isn't going to be the most attack and right back you've ever seen in your life, but he is going to get forward and make the occasional run. So my bit of advice from me to you would be to have someone that can do it if needed. So make sure you've got a decent attacking wing back in that scenario. Going over to the two ball playing defenders, we'll change them both right now. And we are simply going to have them both sets to mark tighter. It is quite a tight mark and system out like sort of out here at the back. So make sure you've got those selected. And to be honest, we didn't concede hardly any goals with any of the teams we played with. And the mark Titan is a very, very big reason to that. When it comes to the left back, of course, no questions here. It is going to be the inverted wing back on support who is also going to be set to mark tighter. Now, this is great for someone like a Caliofori, a Timber, who may be a bit more comfortable playing at centre-back um, on some sort of versions. And I will say, these this is the perfect role for them because they can come inside, almost play as a back three as well. And it works really, really well. I do want to quickly say, by the way, if you are interested in getting access to all three of these tactics and saving yourself some time and unlocking all of these perks down here, console tactics, mobile tactics, rebuild files, rebuild tactics, a £500 giveaway, which you automatically get entered to for joining you can come over and join the patreon the link is going to be in the description we are close to 5,000 people and trust me the community is absolutely popping so i'll see you over there but let's carry on and talk about this incredible midfield so we are going to go with a dm on support and we could get away with support some would say josh why don't you go with defend honestly playing with a top four team like arsenal you don't need to have him on defend in my opinion you're never really too vulnerable anyway the back line's quite resilient so a dm is going to come in and he is simply going to be set to to dribble less and also mark tighter once again you are seeing the usage of mark tighter it's going to be used quite a fair bit in the system just to make that very very clear the left hand side of midfield we are going to go with an ap and that is going to be set also to attack and we are simply going to have him on a couple of instructions here that's going to consist of get further forwards and also roam from the position this is going to be when martin odegaard sits he's going to get forward create for the front three he does such a good job of it and what a player he is as well they've honestly got some incredible players they genuinely have and next to him we are going to go with a center mid on support who is going to consist of a couple instructions being row from position move into the channels and also tackle harder so it's literally the perfect mixture of players in this midfield you've got a dm protect in the back line a roaming central midfield player and an attack and talisman to provide for the front three so a really 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 good system but going over to the front three the winger on the left is going to be set to attack and he is going to have some instructions of course this is going to be your martinelli so we are going to have him set to roam from position tackle harder and also mark tighter is going to be our choice of instructions for the left hand side and on the right, we are going to go with another winger on attack. And he's going to have a different set of instructions, but still somewhat similar. They are going to consist of cut inside, shoot more often, roam, and also tackle harder with Mark Titer being selected as well. Now, the great thing about this is Saka does come in and have some shots at the goal. Martinelli maybe does as well, but I would say Saka does it a fair bit more often. And he is incredible on the game at doing that. So it makes sense to utilize it in the match engine as well. And lastly, the advanced forward, that is going to be your Kai Havertz your Jesus we are going to go with Rome and also tackle harder so a very aggressive front three that are not afraid to put in a challenge and really get stuck in and that's exactly what I want my team to be doing but now we best go over the team instructions so right off the bat into in possession we are going to go all the way up to fairly wide we're going to pass the ball into the space we're going to focus down the left and the right when you've got Martinelli and Saka you've got to use them pretty well so that makes sense playing out from the back of course a necessity two ball playing defenders you've got a DM to pick up the ball as well you need to be playing out from the back really we're going to work the ball into the box utilizing the low crosses and when it comes to the tempo, it is going to remain in the middle, but the passing is going to go down one, which makes the tempo actually go to standard. 
Now in transition, we are going to go to play to anyone across the back line while taking short goal kicks. We're going to counter and we're also going to add a little bit of that counter pressing style. And of course, lastly, we are going to deploy the high pressing line of engagement, the much higher defensive line. We are also going to set a pressing trap to trap outside. We're going to get stuck in, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and we're going to max out that trigger press. And that is going to give you this incredible default Arteta 4-3-3. But do stick around because we have got the attacker version and a defensive version which you're not forced to pay for i've seen a couple of comments that's why they're in the video for free you can copy them it just saves you a bunch of time going over and downloading them but let's go over to the attack and version which of course was used with rangers the attack and version is just a little bit different to be honest with you because obviously it is more attacking as it says on the tin the goalkeeper does remain the same the ball playing defenders exactly the same the back line actually does remain completely unchanged so i won't waste a single second of your time regarding that the dm is going to be set to dribble less and also mark tighter the midfield is going to change a little bit so the central midfield player is still going to be on support but now set to take more risks dribble more get forwards roam move into the channels and also tackle harder the ap is going to be the same the winger on the left and on the right, still exactly the same, and even the advance forward does remain the same. But don't worry, I've not wasted your time because the team instructions, they change a fair bit. So now we are set all the way up to attacking, still on that clean slate, but set to attacking. We are going to go fairly wide. This time, we're going to be more expressive. We're going to have the tempo up to slightly higher, still with the shorter passing directness. We're still going to be playing out from the back and focusing down the left and the right with work ball into the box and set to the low crosses. But this time, also the pass into the space. So the big difference here is obviously utilizing that higher tempo, being more expressive, really letting them players express themselves, funny enough, and not being afraid to make mistakes when they're seeking sort of attacking opportunities. In transition, we're going to be taking short goal kicks to anyone across the back line. But this time, distribute quickly alongside of the counter and also the counter press. So again, this instruction here is absolutely key. Out of possession, we are obviously going to maintain the same sort of stuff. The much higher line, trap outside, get stuck in, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and also a maxed out trigger press. And it's as simple as that, boys and girls. It's a few key changes that make all the difference, and that is going to be your attack inversion. But now for those of you that are playing as an underdog team, or you want a tactic to defend a game out with, because you can't just use one tactic and expect it to do everything. You need a handful of tactics, and the next one is going to be very good at the more possession-based style of football. It's where the defensive tactic comes in. Now, it says defensive, it's more possession controlling, which you can use with a main team or you can play as a smaller team with it now the goalkeeper does remain the same as do both of the ball playing defenders the back line actually does remain unchanged again so i won't waste your time we are going to introduce the dm on defend now now i know i said previously you don't need him on defend that's for an arsenal for a smaller team or if you're trying to defend a game out you definitely could use it so we're gonna have him on defend on mark tighter the ap drops down to support on pass at short cross less dribble more and also roam from the position and the central midfield player again on support on pass at shorter cross less shoot less roam move into the channels and of course tackle harder so you're probably noticing a pattern occurring i won't spoil it if you if you've clocked onto it i rate it i rate it the winger on the left is going to be set to cut inside roam tackle harder and also mark tighter and on the right exactly the same with the advanced sword also being on Rome and tackle harder. If you didn't know what I was talking about, it is obviously the pass at shorter. We are bringing in all the players to play this more possession-based football. If you got it, I rate it. It's good tactical knowledge. Of course, over to the team instructions. It is going to be on a positive mentality and we are going to have it set to fairly wide. We're going to pass into the space, still focusing down the left and the right because once again, this tactic isn't a negative, you know, five at the back, sit behind the ball. We are still wanting to play our immaculate football and we're going to have a lot of the same principles as the other tactics. The final third does remain the same, as does work the ball into the box, but this is where the tactic takes a bit of a change. So we are going to go down to dribble less, the tempo goes down by one, and the passing goes all the way down to much shorter. So a real possession-based sort of team. And the other big change in transition, which you're now going to see, is counter press, but no counter, no hole shape. We're going to leave it nice and simple, which results in real calm possession-based football. And we're also going to play to anyone across the back line while taking short goals kicks and lastly to wrap up the video of course one last tab to go over we are going to deploy the high press with a higher line not a much higher line a high defensive line trap outside get stuck in and when it comes to the trigger press we're going to have it set to more often and that's going to give you boys and girls back home not one 
not two, but three variants of R setters for free free. If you have enjoyed, it'd mean the absolute world to me if you would subscribe and leave a like on the video. It helps out the channel more than you can ever imagine. We've got a massive year next year, and we're going to be hitting the content harder than ever. So do stick around, get that bell turned on, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.